Hi, uh, I'm Mary Jane Thomas, uh, the coordinator for pastoral care and bereavement ministry here at St. Augustine's and at Ascension. Um, my father and his entire family were born in Italy and didn't come over to the United States until uh, my dad was 16 years old. Um, but they brought with them some beautiful, beautiful uh, Italian traditions and one that has still to this day a very soft spot in my heart was uh, how Grandpa, who spoke very little English, um, prepared us, not in word, but in deed, and in what he was sharing with us uh, each week. Um, he, oh, they also brought uh, with them the beautiful figures that they used in their nativity set in Italy, and they were absolutely beautiful. Uh, Grandpa built a, a stable that fit in the corner of their very large dining room. And um, the first week of Advent, he would gather the grandchildren and we were to place the hay on the floor of the stable to get, to get it ready. Um, the second week of Advent, um, we would put in the animals, the dogs, the lambs, donkey, whatever, and uh, again, had a wonderful time, you know, uh, doing that and in the anticipation of getting ready for Jesus' birth. Week three, um, we would put in the shepherds and the empty manger. Okay. Week four, uh, we had to make sure that the manger was full of enough soft uh, hay for baby Jesus. Okay. And the star was placed on top of the uh, stable, but not lit. Okay. And um, then came Christmas Eve, and this was such a special, special time we had an ongoing uh, big Italian dinner, and you could see the anticipation then of all the grandchildren for what was to come at midnight. And right before midnight, uh, the angel was put into place, and Mary and Joseph arrived, and finally at mid the stroke of midnight, uh, a different grandchild was chosen each year to place the baby Jesus in the manger, and we would all sing Silent Night together. So it was just such a special time for all of us, and one that I handed down to my son, and now he has to his children and grandchildren. So what about the Magi? Well, the Magi, as you know, were coming from afar. So they were never seen until the Feast of the Epiphany. In our house, they traveled from room to room during their journey, first in the kitchen, uh, the dining room, the living room, and until finally, at, for the Feast of the Epiphany, they arrived. Um, I cherish these memories, and I cherish the memory of Grandpa and all he did to make us really understand the true meaning of waiting and preparing for the birth of Jesus. Thank you.